Hey guys, Baggles here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial in After Effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you frame blending and time revamping. So let's get straight into it. So right here we've got Ezra Bridger in the Star Wars Rebels Season 3 trailer that I'm recreating. So I've got my reference footage here like so at the bottom here. Um, so what we're going to do is going to import our animation, our footage. So if I just go to File, Import, and then highlight everything that I need, like so, and click JPEG Sequence at the bottom here. And if I click Enter, or Select, or whatever, we've got this here. And now if we put it into here... So I filmed this at 24 frames a second in Dragon Frame, and this is at 30 frames a second. Oh no, yeah, 30 frames, I think. Uh, I can't remember, but as you see, it's actually shorter, but in Dragon Frame, it was the same frame rate. So what we can do is we can go to Time, up here, so right-click Time, then Enable Time Remapping. Not revamping, remapping. First mistake. And you'll see that we've um, got this keyframe here. Now, if we drag the keyframe up to the end, like so, we can actually prolong the extension of the animation. So now, wait for that to load. So there we go, and what I usually do is to actually get an accurate depiction of the um, shot is to actually put the opacity down and then match it up, like so. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to blend your frames together. So if you see this button down here, it will say frame blend, and if we double click that so the arrow is going to the right, it will blend the frames together so it looks something like this. Ha! <laughs> That's funny, I... Wait, you're not kidding, are you? Thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome LEGO content coming soon. And you guys have a great day. See ya.